So good morning. Buenos días. I don't know if you've noticed already. No sé si han notado ya. But the kids and the youth are leading worship today. Los niños y los jóvenes están dirigiendo el servicio hoy. You turn on her mic. Turn up her microphone. Number two. Sorry. How about you give them a round of applause to the youth and the kids of this church? Amen. Amen. I also want to give thanks to the pastors and the apostle, the pastor, and Pastor Larissa for giving me the chance to come up here and preach. And I also want to thank, of course, my beautiful wife, who was able to translate for me. Que me puede so that we can all understand what I'm saying. Para que todos lo que estoy But before I jump into the message, Pero antes de el mensaje, I want to make an invite hacer una to all the youth a todos los jóvenes, that have not signed up for our next event. Que se, no se han para I'm going to take advantage of the microphone and, and promote something. <laughs> voy a tomar del y voy a algo. So on November 4th, en 4, the youth group is planning to take a trip el grupo de jóvenes está planeando de ir a un viaje to Azusa Pacific University. A Azusa Pacific, uh, la Universidad de Azusa. They're going to have a youth conference up there. Va a ser una conferencia de jóvenes. It's a one-day conference. Es una conferencia en un día. We actually leave here at 12. Nos vamos aquí de las 12 de la tarde. And we're going to get back at 11. Y regresamos a las 11 de la noche. And then we're going to come here Sunday, right, to church. Y luego vamos a venir a la iglesia el domingo. It's only $10. Solamente cuesta $10. That's really inexpensive. No está caro. So if you want to go, youth, so jóvenes, si quieren ir, uh, please sign up with the, the table in the back. Apúntense en la mesa de información atrás. Or talk to your senior or me. O hablen con your senior conmigo. So we can sign you up. Para apuntarte. Amen. Amen. So let's pray before we jump in. Vamos a antes de comenzar. Dear God, Señor, thank you for this day. Gracias por ese día. For the blessing of letting us come here to be able to worship you. Por la bendición que nos das de poder estar aquí to para praise you. alabarte. We give you thanks for the church. Te damos gracias por la iglesia. For our leadership. Por nuestros líderes. Thank you, God, for giving us the free will to come and express ourselves to you. I ask God that you just put me aside Te pido que me pongas a un lado. and that you speak through me. Y que hables a través de mí. That the words that I say que las palabras que digo, um, go out que salgan to the hearts a los corazones, and not come back empty. Y que no regresen vacíos. That there's change today, Father. En cambio hoy, Padre. I pray for everyone to receive Oro que todos reciban, you remove any kind of distractions que toda that may stop us from receiving what you had for us today. Que paren de, de recibir lo que tú tienes para nosotros. Rebuke all distractions in the name of Jesus Christ. Hecho fuera toda distracción en el nombre de Jesús. And let your words just fall upon us. Y que tu palabra caiga sobre nosotros. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. 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 How many know what we've been doing for the last 90 days in our church? ¿Cuántos saben lo que hemos estado haciendo por los últimos 90 días en nuestra iglesia? All right, if you don't, we've been doing a challenge, a spiritual challenge. Y si no saben, hemos estado haciendo un reto, un reto espiritual. The first 30 days, los primeros 30 días, we focused on um, reading the Bible. Nos enfocamos en leer la palabra. The next 30 days, we focus on prayer. Y los siguientes 30 días, nos enfocamos en oración. And right now, we're kind of at the end towards our last 30 days. Y estamos ya casi al final de los uh, 30 días de este mes. Which is focused on sanctification. Que está enfocado en santificación. Now, sanctification... Santidad. Yeah, right. Sounds like a big word, right? It's a, it's, a, it's a church word that we say a lot. And it sometimes maybe it goes over our head. Or maybe at least for me it did at first. But it's okay. Because churches have their own languages. So let me take some time to explain what it means. So we can have a better idea of how to apply it to our lives. So the literal definition, according to Google, so la definición literal de acuerdo a Google, sanctification is the action of making or declaring something holy. La, es la acción, santificación es la acción de declarar o hacer algo santo. That's it. Eso es todo. Simple, right? Fácil, ¿eh? Well, it's simple to say, es fácil decirlo, but to put it into practice is a little bit more difficult. But why? Pero por qué? Because of our sinful nature. Por, por nuestra, um, naturaleza pecaminosa. You see, humans, Miren, los humanos, you and I, ustedes y yo, have the tendency to want to sin. Tenemos la tendencia de querer pecar. 
You might be saying, no, Junior, you're no peco. I don't sin. <laughs> mejor está diciendo, no, Junior, you're no peco. I'm going to tell you something already. Te voy a decir algo you already sinned. Ya because you're lying. We all got to fall back into that. <laughs> todos, todos, um, it's our nature to go towards things that are not correct in the eyes of God. Galatians 5, 19 through 21 says, When you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outburst of anger, selfish ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these. Let me tell you again, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God. Gálatas 5, 19 al 21 dice, cuando ustedes siguen los deseos de la naturaleza pecaminosa, los resultados son más que claros. Inmoralidad sexual, impurezas, pasiones sexuales, idolatría, hechicería, hostilidad, peleas, celos, arrebatos de furia, ambición egoísta, discordias, divisiones, envidia, borracheras, fiestas desenfrenadas y otros pecados parecidos um, permiten... Permítanme repetirles lo que les dije antes. Cualquiera que lleve esa clase de vida no heredará el reino de Dios. I feel like I'm always talking about this. Siento que siempre estoy hablando de esto. It's because I work with young people. Es porque trabajo con jóvenes. And the battle is real for them. Y la batalla es verdadera. They're always fighting against these things. Siempre están peleando contra estas Especially cosas. Especially in the world that we live in, right? Especialmente en el mundo que vivimos ahorita. Where good is bad. Donde lo, ma lo bueno es malo. And bad is good. Y lo malo es bueno. It's all twisted around. Está todo confundido. And we have really separated from the foundations of holy, holy living. Y nos hemos separado de la fundación de vivir en santidad. Now it's, it, it's nowadays it's a lot easier to live in sin because it's accepted. Ahora es más fácil vivir en pecado porque es aceptado. There's no chastising. No, no one looks at down at you for sinning anymore. Nadie te mira mal porque estás pecando. But only in reality, the acceptance that we need to um, follow or look for. En realidad, la aceptación que estamos buscando is, o, is that from God. Es la de Dios. And that's where sanctification comes in. Y es donde viene la santidad. The process of sanctification goes in contrary. To our sinful nature. El proceso de la santificación goes in contrary to our sinful nature. Va en contra de nuestra um, naturaleza pecaminosa. It's a process of removing things of our lives, and it hurts. Es un proceso de remover cosas en nuestra vida y duele. We're, the, the, this month is uh, tiempos de refrigerio or refreshing time. Este mes es un tiempo de refrigerio. And we're talking about being in the hands of the potter. Y estamos hablando de estar en las manos del de alfadero. Pastora uh, Norma preached about this. Pastora Norma uh, predicó sobre esto. How the potter has to get all those uh, imperfections out of the pot while he's building it. Como el alfadero tiene que sacarle todas las imperfecciones al al al, al, barro. al barro cuando lo está haciendo. Because if they don't, porque si no, when it's put in the heat, cuando es puesto en el en las llamas, en lo when caliente, it's put under pressure, cuando está puesto en presión, it's in a crack, se va a quebrar, it's in a break, se va a quebrar. And that's what God does in our lives. Y eso es lo que Dios hace en nuestras vidas. He molds us. Nos moldea. He removes those things that might cause us to break. Quita esas cosas que a mejor van a causar que nos quebremos. And it's a process of sanctification. Y es un proceso para santidad. And the process of sanctification requires us to turn and move towards holiness. Y el proceso de santificación es un caminar hacia santidad. Towards perfection. Hacia la perfección. And who's perfect? ¿Y quién es perfecto? Jesus. Jesús. Jesus is perfect, right? Jesús es perfecto. ¿verdad? So it means getting closer to Jesus. So para acercarme más a Jesús. And having a, 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 a relationship with Jesus. Y tener una relación con Jesús. It's just like any other relationship that we have. Es como cualquier otra relación que tenemos. The closer we are to that person. Lo más cercano que estamos a esa the persona. The more we learn about that person. Lo más que conocemos de esa the persona. The more we want to be around that person. Y más queremos estar con esa persona. And when you truly love somebody. Y cuando realmente amas a alguien. We don't want to do anything to compromise our relationship with them. No quieres hacer nada para quebrar esa relación. Look, Jesus jumped into your relationship with you already. Jesús ya, ya está en una relación contigo. He broke, he gave us up his own life on the cross to be with you. Él dio su propia vida para estar contigo en la, en la cruz. Now, if that's not love, si eso no es amor, I don't know what is. No sé qué es. He's done the hard part. Y él ya hizo lo difícil. He just wants to have a relationship with you. Ahora él quiere tener una relación contigo. So, what does that look like? Y cómo se mira esto? So, there's an amazing passage in the Bible. Hay un pasaje maravilloso en la Biblia. That God put in my heart. Que Dios puso en mi corazón. When I first learned that I was going to come 
cuando, cuando supe que iba a predicar ahora. It's in Luke 7, Está en Lucas 7, 36, through 50. 36 al 50. If you get there, we're going to read it. Sí, están ahí, vamos a leerlo. So the first um, 36 says, Verso 36 dice, One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to have dinner with him. So Jesus went to his home and sat down to eat. Uno de los fariseos invitó a Jesús a comer, así que Jesús fue a su casa y se sentó a comer. I want to pause right here. Quiero hacer una pausa aquí. Because actually in the youth group, uh, the connection group, en el grupo de conexión de los jóvenes, we're doing a series called Eating with Jesus. Estamos haciendo una serie que se llama Comiendo con Jesús. Where we're learning about how Jesus would sit down and eat with people to talk to them. Donde estamos aprendiendo que Jesús se sentó con la gente y comía con ellos para hablar con ellos. He knows. Porque él sabe. And a lot of Latinos know. Y muchos latinos saben. That eating. Que comiendo. It's how you get to the heart, right? Como llegas al corazón. Eating around the table. Cuando comes alrededor de la mesa. You're talking. Estás hablando. You're more vulnerable. Estás más vulnerable. You let your guard down. Dejas tu guardia abajo. You want to share and talk about everything. Quieres compartir uh, y hablar sobre todo. How many have been to restaurants and that stayed like past closing because you're talking so much? ¿Cuántos han ido a restaurantes y se quedan hasta que cierran porque están hablando mucho? So we see here that Jesus is open to going to eat. So, miramos aquí que Jesús está abierto a ir a comer. Even with the Pharisee. Aún con los fariseos. Oh, we know now Ahora sabemos that the Pharisees were out to get Jesus. Que los fariseos querían atrapar a Jesús. But it was free food. Pero era comida gratis. We all go toward, we all, we all go to everything when it's free food there. Nosotros todos vamos y es gratis, la comida es gratis. But Jesus was not going to be surprised by what the Pharisee was going to tell him. Pero Jesús no iba a estar sorprendido con lo que los fariseos le iba a decir. He's God, right? Porque él es Dios, ¿verdad? So he was ready. Pues él estaba listo. But let's keep reading. Oh, vamos a seguir leyendo. Verse 37. I'm going to read through 50, okay? So I'll read first and then Yesenia will read. When the certain immoral woman from the city heard he was eating there, she brought a beautiful alabaster jar filled with expensive perfume. Then she knelt behind him at his feet, weeping. Her tears fell on his feet, and she wiped them from her, with her hair. Then she kissed his feet. Then she kept kissing his feet and putting perfume on them. When the Pharisee who had invited saw him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know what kind of woman was touching him. She's a sinner. Then Jesus answered his thoughts. Simon, he, he said to the Pharisee, I have something to say to you. Go ahead, teacher, Simon replied. Then Jesus told him the story. A man loaned money to two people, 500 pieces of silver to one, and 50 pieces to the other, but neither of them could repay him. So he kindly forgave them both, canceling their debts. Who do you suppose loved him more after that? Simon answered, I suppose the one whom he canceled a larger debt. That's right, Jesus said. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water to wash my, the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You didn't greet me with a kiss. But from the, from the time I first came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You neglected the courtesy of olive oil to anoint my head, but she has anointed my feet with rare perfume. I tell you, her sins, and there are many, have been forgiven. So she has shown me much love, but a person who has forgiven little shows little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The man at the table said among themselves, who is this man that he goes around forgiving sins? And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Versículo 37 dice, Cuando cierta mujer de mala vida que vivía en la ciudad se enteró que Jesús estaba comiendo ahí, llevó un hermoso frasco de alabastro lleno de un costoso perfume. Llorando se arrodilló detrás de, su, de, a, de él a sus pies. Sus lágrimas cayeron sobre los pies de Jesús y ella los secó con sus cabellos. No cesaba de versarle los pies y les ponía perfume. Cuando el fariseo que lo había invitado vio esto, dijo para sí, si este hombre fuera profeta, sabría qué tipo de mujer lo está tocando. Es una pecadora. Entonces Jesús respondió a los pensamientos del fariseo. Simón, le dijo, tengo algo que decirte. Adelante, maestro, respondió Simón. Entonces Jesús le contestó la siguiente historia. Le contó la siguiente historia. Un hombre prestó dinero a dos personas, 500 piezas de plata a una y 50 piezas a la otra. Sin embargo, ninguna de las dos pudo devolver, devolver el dinero. Así que el hombre perdonó amablemente a ambas y les canceló la deuda. ¿Quién crees que lo amó más? Simón contestó, supongo que la persona a quien le perdonó la deuda más grande. Correcto, dijo Jesús. 
Luego se volvió a la mujer y le dijo a Simón, mira, esta mujer que está arrodillada aquí, cuando entré en tu casa, me, no me ofreciste agua para lavarme el polvo de los pies, pero ella los lavó con sus lágrimas y los secó con sus cabellos. Tú no me saludaste con un beso, pero ella desde el momento en que entré no ha, bajado, no ha dejado de besarme los pies. Tú no tuviste la cortesía de ungir mi cabeza con aceite de oliva, pero ella ha ungido mis pies con un perfume exquisito. Te digo que sus pecados, que son muchos, han sido perdonados, pero eso, por eso ella me demostró tanto amor, pero una persona a quien se le perdona poco, demuestra poco amor. Entonces Jesús le dijo a la mujer, tus pecados, tus pecados son perdonados. Los hombres que estaban sentados a la mesa se decían, entre, entre sí, ¿quién es este hombre que anda perdonando pecados? Y Jesús le dijo a la mujer, tu fe te ha salvado, ve en paz. It's an amazing story, right? Es una tremenda historia, ¿verdad? Let me tell you the title of my message today. Les quiero decir el título de mi mensaje hoy. It's learn from her. Es aprende de ella. And what are we going to learn from this woman? ¿Y qué vamos a aprender de esta mujer? There's a few things we're going to go over. Hay unas cuantas cosas que vamos a But we see here a scene in Jesus' ministry y miramos aquí una escena en el ministerio de Jesús where we encounter two different aspects donde miramos dos encuentros of an interaction with Jesus. De la interacción con Jesús. We see on one hand a Pharisee miramos en un lado un fariseo who I believe wanted to trap Jesus que yo creo que quería atrapar a Jesús because, at, because to the point that he didn't extend any uh, courtesy, common courtesy to him. Al punto que no le, no, no tuvo cortesía co, um, común hacia él. He didn't provide water. No le proveo agua. He didn't give him a kiss. No le dio beso. He didn't anoint his head. No ungió su cabeza. And you might be thinking, why is that important? Y puedes decirte por qué es importante. Well, it is. Sí es. It is important because in those times, es importante porque en ese tiempo, those acts were a common practice among the Jewish population. Esos hechos eran comunos a, en la población de los judíos. Simon the Pharisee, Simón el fariseo, he neglected to perform the basic hospitable courtesies. Negó de cumplir la, los, la cortesía común que se hacía con, con los uh, invitados. Yeah, with the house guests. So that tells me that he was not looking to play nice. So eso me dice a mí que él no estaba mirando jugar bien. He was probably so busy trying to sit down. A mejor estaba muy ocupado tratándose de sentar. And work some kind of angle against Jesus. Y hacer algo en contra de Jesús. That he wanted to, he he skipped all the common polite behavior that's supposed to do. Que no hizo nada de las cosas comunes comunes que tenía que hacer. He wanted to catch Jesus in something. Quería agarrar a Jesús en algo. Saying something incorrectly. Que dijera algo incorrecto. But Jesus didn't mind. Pero Jesús no le importó. Again, free food. Otra vez comida gratis. He went with it. <laughs> y solo hizo. You see, Jesus can't be fooled. Jesús no puede ser uh, burlado. Some of us here think that he can. Uno de nosotros a veces aquí I'm pensamos gonna, que throw, sí puede. I'm going to do a sidetrack here. Voy a, hacer, voy a decir algo We try to play with Jesus. A veces tratamos de jugar con Jesús. We want to see how far we can go with him without dealing with consequences. Queremos ver qué tan lejos podemos llegar sin tener consecuencias. We play Christian on Sundays. Jugamos a ser cristianos los domingos. But then during the rest of the week. Pero después de toda la semana. We act like demons. Actuamos como demonios. We act like God stays here Sundays. Actuamos como que Jesús se queda aquí los domingos. And when we go home, he just stays here. Y cuando nos vamos a la casa, aquí se queda. And much like the Pharisee found out, y mucho, así como los el se dio cuenta, God knows all. Que Dios sabe todo. He sees all. Que mira He todo. hears all. Que oye todo. Even your thoughts. También tus pensamientos. We cannot fool God. No podemos engañar a And Dios. we'll end up paying the consequence at Va some point. Vamos a pagar la consecuencia un tiempo. Okay, I'm going to get off that okay. soapbox. <laughs> Voy a salir de ahí. So on the other side, so del otro lado, we see this interaction that took place with the woman. Miramos la, la interacción que tuvo con esta mujer. Unlike the Pharisee, no uh, como el fariseo, that was looking for information about Jesus, que estaba tratando de buscar información en contra de Jesús y cuestionarlo. This woman, esta mujer, who was full of sin, que estaba llena de pecado, didn't didn't come to the house to try to seek understanding of Jesus. No vino a esta casa de tratar de buscar entendimiento de Jesús. Or who he was. O quién era. She knew who he was. Ella sabía quién era. She knew who he was before she even entered the house. Ella sabía quién era él uh, cuando ella entró a la casa. When I was reading this casa. passage. Cuando estaba leyendo ese pasaje. I was wondering how did she freely just walk into a Pharisee's es, house. Estaba pensando cómo entró um, libremente a la casa del fariseo. Imagine somebody that's up from the street. 
just walk into your house and you're like, okay, how'd you just get in here? Imagínense a alguien que está en la calle y nomás entra a tu casa y te pregunta, ¿cómo entra esta persona aquí? Especially a Pharisee's house. Especialmente una casa de un fariseo. In those times again, en esos tiempos otra vez, people would hang out with people at their same status. La gente se juntaba con la gente de su mismo nivel. So Pharisees would hang out with Pharisees and other religious leaders. So los fariseos se juntaban con los fariseos y otras personas religiosas. Sinners would hang out with sinners, tax collectors, prostitutes. Los pecadores se juntaban con los pecadores, con los que colectaban taxis, con prostitutas. prostitutas people that were just of that class. And, but in those days, Pero en esos tiempos, it was also a custom to leave the door open era de dejar la abierta, and anybody could walk in y podía entrar, when two teachers were talking, dos two hablando, religious leaders, dos two rabbis, to whatever it was, because anyone was welcome to walk in and listen to what they were talking about, y lo que hablando, to learn. Para And this woman didn't care about her status. Y esa mujer no le importó su, su estado. She didn't care how she was portrayed. Ella no le importó cómo la miraban. She knew that she was an immoral woman. Ella sabía que era una persona inmoral. A sinner. Una pecadora. But nonetheless, Pero, no, aún así, she wanted to be close to the teacher, the master. Ella quería estar cerca del maestro. Why? ¿Por qué? Because she knew that she wanted to build a relationship with him. Porque ella sabía que quería hacer una relación con él. She wanted to work towards sanctification. Quería trabajar hacia la santidad. And We can learn from her process. Y de su so we're going to learn from her. Vamos a de ella. So let's see how we can build a relationship and work towards sanctification so with Jesus. So the first thing that she did La cosa que hizo, that she surrendered. Se rindió. She surrendered. Se rindió. In uh, verse 37, 38 it says, when a certain immoral woman from that city heard she was, he was eating there, She brought a beautiful alabaster jar filled with expensive perfume. She knelt behind him at his feet. 37 and the first part of 38. Cuando cierta mujer de mala vida que venía a la ciudad se enteró que Jesús estaba comiendo ahí, llevó un hermoso frasco de alabastro lleno de un costoso perfume. Llorando, se arrodilló detrás de él a sus pies. She heard when she heard where he was and she went to him. Ella escuchó donde él estaba y ella fue hacia él. She made a conscious. It's not like she was just walking by the house and like, oh, there's Jesus. I'm gonna go. No es como si nomás estaba caminando por la casa y dijo, oh, ahí está Jesús, me voy She a meter. She made a conscious effort to search for Jesus. Ella hizo un esfuerzo para buscar a Jesús. And meet him where he's at. Y encontrarlo donde estaba. She had a full understanding that maybe she was not going to be welcomed. Ella tenía un entendimiento que mejor no la aceptaban. Maybe she was thinking that she might even be rejected by at the door. A mejor, también sabía que a mejor la iban a rechazar en la puerta. Sometimes I felt like that before. A veces yo también me he sentido así. Uh, thinking that people around me won't accept me because of my faith. Or maybe that they look at me weird when I'm next to them in the car singing to the new Elevation Worship album or whatever. Maybe you thought this, I know I have in the past, is that you feel that sometimes your kids think you're weird because you go to church so much. A veces uh, yo sé que yo he pensado esto que a lo mejor tus hijos piensan que eres raro porque vas a la iglesia mucho. But like that woman, Pero como la, esa mujer, we need to ignore those voices tenemos que ignorar esas and we need voces, to march towards Jesus. Y marchar hacia Jesús. She still pushed forward to get to Jesus Ella caminó hacia enfrente with para, a surrendered heart. Con un corazón, um, con un corazón rendido. rendido. And like her, y como ella, We need to recognize our own imperfections. Tenemos que reconocer nuestras propias imperfecciones. And we need to and we and the need for God's grace. Y la necesidad de la gracia de Dios. We need to go with him with a humble heart. Tenemos que ir con él con un corazón humilde. We need to acknowledge our shortcomings. Y conocer nuestros um, fallas. nuestras fallas. And seek for forgiveness and transformation. Y buscar la la el el perdón y santificación. Transformación. Transformación. So, if you're here today, si estás aquí hoy, you had a rough week, y tú dices un, una semana dura, maybe you received some bad news, a mejor recibiste malas maybe noticias, maybe you're having trouble with your significant other, a mejor tienes problemas con, tu, con la otra persona, maybe you've done worse things, a mejor has hecho 
cosas peores. Jesus is here for you. Jesús está aquí para he's ti. everywhere. Está donde he's sea. here to meet you. Está aquí para and he's looking, but he's looking for a heart that's ready to be healed. Pero está buscando un corazón que esté listo para ser sanado. He will not turn you away. Él no te va a rechazar. No matter what you've done. No importa lo que has hecho. Psalms 51:17 says. Salmo 51, 17 dice, the sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken or repentant heart, O oh God. Salmo 51, 17 dice, El sacrificio que, que si sí deseas es un espíritu quebrantado. Tú no rechazas un corazón arrepentido y quebrantado, oh Dios. He's going to accept you. Él te va a aceptar. As long as you have a repented heart. Uh, con que tengas un corazón arrepentido. Which is our next step. Que es nuestro segundo paso. Repentance. Arrepentimiento. Repentance. Arrepentimiento. We see in this woman, we see in the woman is a deep, a deep anguish. Miramos en esta mujer un, una angustia of her repentance when she begins to weep. De su arrepentimiento cuando empieza a llorar. In verse 38b it says, weeping her tears fell on his feet. En, en el versículo de Lucas 7, 38 dice, llorando se arrodilló detrás de él a sus pies. Sus lágrimas cayeron sobre los pies de Jesús. So to build a relationship and, and work in sanctification, Para crear una relación y trabajar hacia la santidad, we need to repent. Tenemos que arrepentirnos. Acts 3.19 says, Hechos 3, 19 dice, Now repent of your sins and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped away. Ahora pues arrepiéntense de sus pecados y vuelvan a Dios para que sus pecados sean borrados. It's interesting what, how it states it here. Es interesante como lo dice aquí. It says repent from your sins and turn to God. Dice arrepiéntense de sus pecados y vuelvan a Dios. It doesn't say go to God and then repent from your sins. No dice vayan a Dios y luego arrepiéntense de sus pecados. You need to pecados. repent Tienen first. Tienen que arrepentirse primero. Turn to God y voltearse hacia Dios. And let him finish cleaning the sin out of you. Y deja que él limpie uh, los pecados de ti. Jesus is God, right? Jesús es Dios, ¿verdad? So we need to repent so we can get close to him. So tenemos que arrepentirnos para acercarnos a él. Close enough that we can pour our tears. Está cerca de él para poder derramar nuestras lágrimas. We need to recognize and acknowledge our sins. Tenemos que reconocer um, que los pecados que tenemos. This involves an honest assessment of your thoughts. Esto esto involucra una evaluación. Una evaluación Honesta. de nuestros pensamientos. Um, our actions, acciones, our behaviors that are not aligned with God's will. Que no están de acuerdo de la voluntad de Dios. It seems that this woman already had repented though even before she got there. Miramos que esta mujer estaba arrepentida antes de llegar. And that's why the process of forgiveness was so quick, I believe. Por es, yo creo que por eso el proceso de arrepentimiento fue muy rápido. She knelt at his feet and started weeping. Ella se arrodilló a sus pies y empezó a llorar. In English it says weeping. I know in Spanish it says llorar. En inglés dice weeping. In Spanish it says llorar, but I think in Spanish it's better llanto, right? En español. It's, it's llanto. It makes more sense. Now. Que llanto es diferente que llorar. So she was weeping. Ella estaba en llanto. And the definition for weeping y la definición de llanto is the act of shedding tears es la acción de derramar, uh, lágrimas, often due to intense emotions con una, uh, por emociones intensas, sorrow uh, dolor, pain uh, dolor de perder uh, a and alguien, a deep distress y una, um, un distress <laughs> profundo <laughs> how many have, have witnessed or been how, how many have, have weeped ¿cuántos han estado en llanto? I know I've been around it before. Yo sé que he estado alrededor de eso. It's 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 an emotion that affects the whole room. Es una emoción que afecta todo el cuarto. If, if it's some if it's a if a moment when you lose somebody. Si es un momento donde pierdes a alguien. Or it's a moment where something amazing happens to you. O si es un momento donde algo maravilloso te pasa. It's like the, it's like your body just expressing just this outburst of emotion. Es como que tu cuerpo expresa estas emociones. And it affects the atmosphere. Y afecta la atmósfera. In the Bible, en la Biblia, a we weeping de llanto represents a genuine outpouring of one's heart. Se significa el derramamiento del de corazón de But it's a sign of repentance as well. Pero es un, una seña de arrepentimiento. It's a también. plea for God's mercy. Es una, un clamor de la misericordia This de Dios. woman was weeping at the feet of Jesus. Esta mujer estaba en llanto en los pies de Jesús. In repentance. En arrepentimiento. And I believe also in joy. 
y yo también creo que también en gozo because she was with the master porque estaba con el maestro the awesome thing about Jesus lo maravilloso de Jesús is that he shows us mercy and grace es que nos demuestra su gracia however we come to him y su bondad así como venimos a él he takes our anguish él toma nuestro dolor and turns it into joy y lo y lo voltea en gozo he takes our pain quita nuestro dolor he, he turns it into healing y lo voltea en sanidad he takes your loneliness él quita nuestra and he turns it into family Jesus is there to catch our tears and to comfort us no matter what you've done he's ready for you so once we realize that and we truly repent out of our hearts that leads us to want to do something external which is the next step which is service service in verse 38 we also see this we see and she wiped them off with her hair in the versículo 38 de Lucas dice 7 7.38 dice y ella los secó con sus cabellos when I read this I was amazed cuando leí eso estaba maravillado I live with a lot of women vivo con muchas mujeres I have my wife, Tengo a mi esposa, two daughters, Tengo dos hijas, my mother-in-law, mi suegra. now we have a bird ahora, named Ray. Ahora tengo un pájaro que se llama Ray, it's another girl Otra mujer. Um, that we bought her for Yesenia for her birthday. Le compramos a Yesenia para su cumpleaños. And their hair is really important, right? Y su cabello es muy importante. So important muy importante. that they sure like to save it everywhere. Que le gustan guardar donde quiera. In the drains, en el drenaje, on brushes, en el cepillo, on my clothes. En mi ropa. I'm, always, I'm bald, right? So Estoy calvo. <laughs> if you didn't notice. Si no Sometimes notado. I have like a hair just sticking out here in my ear for some reason. A veces tengo un pelo like, aquí saliendo just de mi ear. It. Anyways. Um, <laughs> So when we, I read this, that she wiped her feet with her hair, I was like, ew, like, it's nasty. Dije, ew, eso es nasty. I know it's Jesus, Yo sé que es Jesús, but that's nasty, right? Pero es Am I the only one thinking that? O soy el único que piensa así. But then after thinking about it for a bit, Pero después de pensar por, por un poco esto, I, was, I was like, that's serving. Eso es, yo pensé, eso es servir. Serving is putting your ego aside. Servir es poner tu ego a un lado. And doing what it takes to help others and attend to others. Y hacer lo que es necesario para ayudar a otros y atender a otros. Serving is not caring about how you feel. El servir es no que te importe como tú te sientes. But how to help others get closer to God. Pero cómo ayudar a otros a acercarse a Dios. Remember that serve that in Jesus time. Recuerdan que en el tiempo de Jesús. They wore sandals. They wore chanclas. Usaban sandalias, sandales. chanclas. They didn't wear Crocs no with socks. Crocs. No they didn't wear Jordans. No Jordan. They didn't have hiking shoes. No para ir a Their hiking. feet, Sus pies, like my daughter says, they were crusty and musty. Como mi hija dice, todos duros y feos. <laughs> so, who knows, so who knows what Jesus stepped in during that day? ¿Y quién sabe qué piso Jesús ese día? There's a lot of stuff on the road. Había cosas en el There's dirt. Había There's dust. Polvo. There's animal stuff who knows what he stepped on right but to this woman it didn't matter she took her hair and wiped the dirt and nasty stuff off his feet some of you women won't even touch your husband's feet when they get home after a long day work right? Men, can I get an amen <laughs> But she did it out of serving her Lord and Savior. Service gets us closer to God. El servir nos acerca a Dios. Because that's what he did. Porque es lo que él hizo. In Mark 10, 45 it says, en Marcos 10, 45 dice, For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Dice, pues ni aún el Hijo de Hombre vino para que le sirvan, sino para servir a otros y para dar su vida en rescate por muchos. We need to leave our selfish ego aside. Tenemos que dejar nuestro nuestro ego ego egoísta egoísmo a un lado. And take what we hold valuable. Y a tomar lo que uh, creemos de valor. And use it to serve others. Y usarlo para servir a otros. Your money. Tu dinero. Ouch. Ouch. Your time. Tu tiempo. Your resources. Tu recursos. Use that to serve others. Usa eso para servir a otros. Because we want to be holy. We want to work towards holiness, Porque right? Porque queremos trabajar hacia la santidad, verdad? Jesus is holy. Y, y Jesús and es Jesus santo. Did it. Y Jesús lo hizo. That is 
also a way for us to express the next thing in our list. Y eso es de otra manera que podemos expresar en, en la lista que tengo. And that's gratitude. Y es gratitud. In verse 38, it also says, I'm all, if you haven't noticed, I'm doing all this on one verse, okay? So it's, we're breaking down verse 38. It says, then she kept kissing his feet. Si se han dado cuenta, estoy basando todo eso, además en un versículo, el 38 dice, y él no cesaba de versarle los pies. She was grateful. Ella estaba agradecida. Not because she was saved. No porque estaba salva. Because at this point, porque en ese, a ese punto, Jesus still hadn't forgiven her yet. Porque Jesús todavía no la había perdonado. She was grateful. Estaba agradecida. Because she was able to be close to Jesus. Porque está, podía estar cerca de Jesús. Close to the teacher. Cerca del maestro. Close enough to serve him. Cerca para servirle. She was grateful before the blessing. Estaba agradecida antes de la bendición. And we need to act the same way too. Y nosotros también tenemos que actuar. Grateful for manera. what Jesus will do in our lives. Agradecidos por lo que Dios puede hacer en nuestras vidas. Before it even happens. Antes de que pase. That's called having faith. Eso es, eso se llama tener fe. Thank God for the job that you're applying for. Dale gracias a Dios por el trabajo que estás aplicando. Thank God for your kids' future wives and husbands. Dale gracias a Dios por los uh, esposos o esposas de sus hijos en, del futuro. Thank God for your friend's salvation who you've been working on. Thank God for your husband or wife no matter how they are. Believe that God is working in them. Cree que Dios está trabajando en ellos. And he's probably working in you too. Y a mejor también está trabajando en ti. Thank God even for your trials. Dale gracias a Dios por tus tribulaciones. You're going to because you believe that he will get you through it. Las tribulaciones que estás pasando porque estás creyendo que él te va a sacar de eso. I found this quote from Pastor Rick Warren. Hay esta frase del Pastor Rick Warren. He says, in happy moments, praise God. Dice, en momentos felices, dale, um, alaba a Dios. In difficult moments, seek God. En en tiempos difíciles busca a Dios. In quiet moments worship God. En tiempos quietos alaba a Dios. In, adora a Dios. In painful moments trust God. En tiempos de dolor um, confía en Dios. And in every moment thank God. Y en cada momento dale gracias a Dios. In every moment we should be thanking God. En cada momento debemos de darle gracias a Dios. Ephesians 5:20 says. Efesios 5:20 dice. And give thanks for everything to God the Father in the same in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Everything. Efesios 5:20 dice, y den gracias por todo a Dios, el Padre, en el nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, en todo. Many studies over the past decades Muchos estudios entre los, las últimas décadas have la found that década, people who consciously count their blessings han hallado que la gente que cuenta sus bendiciones tend to be happier and less depressed. Son más felices y menos deprimidos. Gratitude changes us. La gratitud nos cambia. But we don't need studies to tell us this. Nosotros no necesitamos estudio que nos digan eso. We already know this because God wrote it in His Word a long time ago. Ya sabemos eso porque está en la palabra. Dios lo escribió hace mucho tiempo en su palabra. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Filipenses 4, 6 al 7. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. No se preocupen por nada. En cambio, oren por todo. Díganle a Dios lo que necesitan y denle gracias por todo lo que Él ha hecho. Así experimentarán la paz de Dios que supera todo lo que podamos entender. La paz de Dios cuidará sus cora su corazón y su mente mientras vivan en Cristo Jesús. Science and psychology is barely catching up to this. Ciencia y la psicología apenas están llegando aquí. But God showed us this already thousands of years ago. Pero Dios ya los mostró eso hace miles, uh, miles de años. Having an attitude of gratitude will get us closer to God because we recognize that he is the one that's in control of everything. And the last thing we can learn from this woman is sharing. The last part of verse 38 says and putting perfume on them, on his feet. One way we can get closer to God Una manera que nos podemos acercar a and Dios work, in, work in the process of sanctification y trabajar en el proceso de la santidad is by sharing who God is. Es compartir quién es Dios. Sharing who Jesus is. Compartir quién es Jesús. Sharing the good news compartir of Jesus who, with whoever we confront. De Jesús a cualquier persona que encontremos. 
This could be through talking to them. Eso puede ser hablar con it could ellos. be through our actions. Puede ser a través de nuestras acciones. Making people understand that we do things because God is the one that provides for us. Hacer que la gente entienda que Dios es el que provee para nosotros. It could be how we carry ourselves at work or around people. Puede ser como nos compartemos en el trabajo alrededor de la gente. It's, it's the act of sharing God es, in us. Es el hecho de compartir we see that this woman poured this expensive perfume on Jesus' feet. And I say that this is sharing y digo que eso es compartir. because it was an expensive perfume. Porque es un perfume caro. She poured it on his feet. Lo puso, lo derramó sobre sus pies. So obviously the whole room smelled great. So obviamente todo el cuarto olía bien. She spread that aroma to everyone in that place. Ella derramó ese aroma en, en todo el she, lugar. She shared the experience that she was having with Jesus Com with everybody. Compartió la experiencia que tenía con Jesús, con todos. She wanted everyone in the room to enjoy the same beautiful experience that she was having. The passage states that she, it was an expensive perfume. El pasaje dice que era un perfume caro. In other accounts of the Bible when they talk about an expensive perfume en otras partes de la Biblia donde hablas del perfume, uh, caro, and they mention the price y menciona el, el, el precio, they usually say it's about one year's wage Dice que es como un sueldo de un año. So I don't know about you. No sé, no sé si tú. But spending a whole year's wage on perfume seems Pero, a little crazy. And then pouring it on the feet seems a little <laughs> crazy. Pero gastándote todo un sueldo de un año en perfume y luego derramarlo en, en los pies de alguien es, se oye como locura. Barely can buy the knockoff at swap meet. <laughs> Apenas puedo <laughs> comprar la imitación en el swap meet. But it wasn't just anybody. Pero no era cualquier persona. It was Jesus. Era Jesús. The Savior, right? El Salvador. And when she wanted to share with everyone that he was the anointed king. Y ella quería compartir con todos que él era el rey ungido. When I see these like little um, these texts in the Bible, I want to learn a little bit more of why. Like why things happen. Cuando miro esos textos en la, en la Biblia, quiero mirar por qué, por qué pasó esto. And I wanted to know why she used perfume on his feet. Y quise saber por qué usó perfume en sus pies. And why did she use her hair to wipe the feet? Y por qué usó su pelo para secar sus pies. And I learned something. Y aprendí algo. I learned that the perfume or oil that this woman had. Eh, aprendí que el perfume o el aceite que esta mujer tenía. Was the same kind of oil or era, perfume. Era el mismo perfume. That was used. Que fue usado. To anoint um, high priests. O que era usado para ungir a los sumos sacerdotes. Or kings. O reyes. In the Jewish in the Jewish community. En la comunidad de judía. Um, so her doing this. So ella haciendo esto. Pouring the oil, the perfume on his feet. Uh, derramando el, el perfume en sus pies. Was telling everybody in the room. Estaba diciéndole a todos en el cuarto. This is Jesus, the high priest. Este es Jesús, el sumo This sacerdote. is Jesus, the king. Este es Jesús, el rey. But then I also thought, Pero pensé, well, usually they pour the oil from the head down, right? Ponen el, el de la para abajo. She poured it on his feet. Pero ella lo puso en los pies. And as soon as I, I, I thought about that, y pensé en esto, God put in my heart Ephesians 6.15. It says, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Póngase como calzado la paz que proviene de la, nueva de la buena noticia a fin de estar completamente preparado. So the feet represents the spreading of the gospel. Los pies representan el compartir el, el evangelio. Spreading the word. Um, compartir la palabra. And that's what she was doing here. Y eso es lo que ella estaba haciendo. She was, to all those Pharisees that were there. A todos los fariseos que estaban ahí. She was evangelizing to them. Ella estaba evangeli evangelizándoles. In a symbolic way, en how to act. En una manera simbólica. To bow down. Uh, Cómo actuar para arrodillarse. To surrender. A rendirse. To repent. A arrepentirse. And to thank Jesus for the salvation. Y darle gracias a Dios, a Jesús por su salvación que nos da. Amen. Amen. Now did they listen? Escucharon? Yeah, it doesn't say here, but I don't think they probably did. <laughs> no dice aquí, pero no creo que escucharon. Because many of the Pharisees went against Jesus, except for a few. Uh, muchos de los fariseos fueron en contra de Jesús, menos unos. But the story here is to teach all of us a lesson. La historia aquí es para enseñarnos a nosotros una lección. And not do what they did. Y no hacer lo que ellos hicieron. Question Jesus. Cuestionar a Jesús. Try to trap him. Tratar de atraparlo. But we need to be like the woman. Pero tenemos que ser como la mujer. We need to do what she did. Tenemos que hacer lo que ella hizo. We need to bow down. Tenemos que arrodillarnos. We need to repent. Arrepentirnos. We need to have gratitude. Tenemos que tener gratitud. We need to share. Tenemos que compartir. We need to do all these things that she taught us. Tenemos que hacer todas esas cosas que ella nos enseñó. And Jesus tells this to you. 
y Jesús te dice esto a ti. The same thing he told her. Lo mismo que le dijo a ella. In verse 47. En el versículo 48. It says, I tell you, her sins, and they are many. How many, how many have sinned? We all have sinned, right? We all have many sins. I tell you this. Her sins, and they are many. Say my sins. And I tell you, my sins, and they are many, have been forgiven. So she has shown me much love, but a person who has forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to me, your sins are forgiven. Te digo que sus pecados y mis pecados, que son muchos, han sido perdonados. Por eso ella me, de me demostró tanto amor, pero una persona a quien se le perdona poco demuestra poco amor. Entonces Jesús le dijo a la mujer, di a mí, tus pecados son perdonados. I'm going to ask you to stand up. Te voy a pedir que te pongas de pie. So if you're here today, si estás aquí ahora, and you've probably come with a broken heart, y vienes con un corazón quebrantado, maybe you identify with this woman, a mejor te identificas con esta mujer, maybe you identify with the Pharisee, o a mejor te identificas con el fariseo, doesn't matter. No importa. Jesus is here to forgive us. Jesús está aquí para perdonarnos. Take this opportunity to connect with Jesus. Toma esta oportunidad para conectarte con Jesús. Just like the woman did. Así como esta mujer. Her heart was repented of everything she had done. Su corazón estaba arrepentido de todo lo que había hecho. Now it's our turn to confess. Ahora es nuestro turno de confesar. Our sins. Nuestros pecados. And be forgiven by Him. Y ser perdonados por él. So if you want to start a new journey this morning. So si quieres comenzar una nueva jornada esta mañana. If you're Christian, si eres cristiano, if you're not Christian, si no eres cristiano, it doesn't matter. No It's about building a relationship with Jesus. Es de, de crear una relación con Jesús. We, don't, we don't preach a religion. No predicamos una religión. We preach a relationship. Predicamos una relación. We want you to have a relationship with Jesus. Queremos que tengan una relación con Jesús. So now if you want to have a relationship with Jesus, so ahora si quieren tener una relación con Jesús, I want you to pray quiero que ores with me conmigo. and just repeat what I say. Y so bow your heads decir. and everybody let's do this together. Incline su rostro. Say, dear God, I am here just like the woman in Luke 7. Estoy aquí como esta mujer de Lucas 7. To confess my mistakes. Para confesar mis mis errores. And ask for your forgiveness. Y pre y pedir tu perdón. I know I've messed up. Yo sé que me he equivocado. And I'm truly repented. Y estoy realmente arrepentido. I've let you down, God. Te he dejado, Dios. I've hurt others. He herido a otros. I've made bad choices. He hecho decisiones incorrectas. And I need your help to make things right. Y necesito tu ayuda para hacer las cosas bien. Just like the woman who cried at Jesus' feet. Así como esta mujer que lloró a los pies de Jesús. I'm coming to you with a heart full of repentance. Vengo hacia ti con un corazón lleno de arrepentimiento. I know you're a loving and forgiving God. Yo sé que eres un Dios amoroso y perdonador. You're patient with us. Que eres paciente con nosotros. So I ask Te pido that you forgive me. Que me perdones. I'm sorry for what I've done. Perdóname por lo que he hecho. I declare you my Lord and Savior, Jesus. Te declaro como mi Señor y Salvador, Jesús. I believe you died and rose on the third day. Creo que tú moriste y resucitaste al tercer día. And I give my life to you. Y te doy mi vida hacia Thank ti. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesús. For everything you've done. Por todo lo que has hecho. And everything you're gonna do. Y todo lo que vas a hacer. In the name of Jesus Christ. En el nombre de Jesús. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God, for everyone here today. Thank you, God, for the word you have brought to us. Thank you, God, for showing us this amazing story of this woman who, deep in her heart, repented and came to your feet and surrender. I give you thanks, God, because we all can learn from her and we all can learn how to build that relationship with you. Thank you, God, for this church. Thank you for the pastors. Thank you for every single person that's here. I ask that you bless them. Let them uh, marinate on this word throughout the week, Father. And if their hearts are still looking for you, Father, let them find it um, sooner rather than later, God. We give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.